Uh, hi, John. Welcome to virtualization.com. Uh, we're here at uh, VMware's headquarters in Palo Alto. Microsoft has been announcing the release of Hyper-V for a while now, and it is hinted this might even happen later today. Now, these guys from Redmond have a track record of turning relatively late market entries into a dominant position. So how does VMware, as a well-established leader in the virtualization industry today, react to this new hypervisor competitor? Yeah, so Microsoft did announce Hyper-V quite some time ago, and we're, we're still waiting for it to actually come out onto the market. Uh, but when it does, what we expect is that it's, it's really a first-generation product. It's a hypervisor, it runs virtual machines, and that's what VMware has been doing since uh, back in early 2000, 2001. Uh, what it doesn't offer is a whole set of virtual infrastructure capabilities that would run on top of a hypervisor. Things like live migration with vMotion or distributed resource scheduling uh, for uh, load balancing to virtual machines. These are really fundamental capabilities that our customers tell us are required for doing production consolidation or for providing high availability for virtual machines or for running a, a disaster recovery solution on top of uh, virtualization. Uh, so from our perspective, uh, Hyper-V is a first-generation product. What our customers are asking for is a whole rich set of virtual infrastructure software that is well beyond just the hypervisor. Many clients are struggling with the licensing terms from proprietary software vendors as they are virtualizing their physical servers into virtual machines. They now run into metaphysical interpretations of what is a server, a socket, and so on. What evolution do you see in the unclear answers vendors give your virtualized clients? And, and is VMware supporting its clients on this issue? Yes, absolutely. So you know, at, at its most fundamental level, licensing uh, a virtual machine is, is similar to licensing a physical machine. We don't necessarily see savings from reducing licensing costs uh, with virtualization. Uh, but at the same time, uh, some vendors are going to have to rethink their licensing models. Uh, there is a change when you're running many virtual machines on top of a single physical server. So we're seeing kind of an evolution and, and a kind of an adoption going on right now. And our role as, as a vendor is to work with other vendors in the industry and kind of help encourage them. But more importantly, it really comes from customers. And that's where we really encourage our customers and work with our customers to talk to their software vendors and talk about uh, trying to improve and simplify and clarify licensing policies for, for virtual machines. John, thanks a lot for the, the insights you've shared with us on virtualization.com. Uh, I wish VM all the best in the competitive virtualization landscape out there and uh, hope to see you soon. Great, thank you very much. Could, could you maybe give a reaction on the, the new kid on the hypervisor block in this industry? They're called Microsoft. They've been around for a while in software. Uh, how do you react to this new product release of Hyper-V by Microsoft? Uh, sure, we've heard of Microsoft before, and uh, we're actually a big partner of theirs uh, and them of us in the hosting and software as a service markets uh, for virtualization automation. Uh, in the general market, though, we see Hyper-V as being late to the market. Uh, it is, it's got a platform deficit in terms of only supporting uh, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise and not the other major forms that we think are uh, other platforms that are required. Uh, it's also uh, a little bit of now you see it, now you don't get it uh, virtualization in terms of missing live migration that was initially promised. That's a ticket to entry feature uh, that Parallels offers and other major players uh, do offer. Uh, finally, um, we think uh, IT pros and developers aren't fooled by the low price and um, really uh, what you get for is, is what you pay for. So all necessary components of virtualization and management are required and we think it does fall short in this in early release. Thank you very much for the time and the insights you've, uh, you've given us. Are there, are there any other views you want to you wanna add to this great view here in uh, New York City? I just want to thank you for the opportunity uh, today and thank you for your role in the uh, virtualization market and that we uh, look forward to increasing our uh, position uh, as a major player in this market. Thank you.